are, Fräulein. I knew you would be back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. <laughs> but you already know that. Don't you, Fräulein? You've been lying by a mission all along, Demoiselle Lenny. About Leon's death, about fighting in the resistance with him, about the go about Mr. Ludwig, and I want to know why. Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. Lenny. Still, I suppose it, it doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. What are you talking about? It was the best years of my life. Joining the resistance, and like my coward of a father, and fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltayar with Ludwig. It gave me purpose. Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. I knew he was still in love. After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So, I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. And that's when Dana fell from the sky, literally. Dana was sent by London, right? To oversee that operation led by your resistance network? The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland recall correctly. Indeed. But Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself. as if they had never left each other. Do you know if... if Dana ever mentioned a child? 
Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya, who knows? In Baltayar? Yes, that's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. But it was to be just another broken dream.